May I take this opportunity to welcome you, ladies and gentlemen, to the College of Agriculture and Veterinary Sciences of the University of Nairobi. The University of Nairobi is a world-class university committed to scholarly excellence. We are not perfect yet, but we are perfectible. We welcome you to courses in the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine, Faculty of Agriculture, and Wangari Mathai Institute for Peace and Environmental Studies. We are welcoming you online, where you will register in, uh, virtually, and you will be taught also on virtual platforms. It's unfortunate that uh, we have to do this because of the COVID-19 pandemic, but we trust that sooner or later there will be reprieve and you will come to campus where you will meet everybody physically. But meanwhile, everything we do will be on virtual platforms. The College of Agriculture and Veterinary Sciences has two farms around here, the veterinary farm and the field station we also have a dry land research station several kilometers from here at a place called Kibwezi. All these will be accessible to you sooner or later. Otherwise, around here we also have collaborators like the International Livestock Research Institute. We have Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization headquarters. We also have Kenya Animal Genetic Resources uh, center. All those are our collaborators and they are our partners in the professions and in academia. We welcome you to be relevant. You are indeed very relevant because the agricultural sector in this country contributes over 20% of the gross domestic product and indeed you will also contribute sooner or later to the Big Four agenda, where the first one, which is most important in this college, is food security. The second one, the second of the Big Four agenda, is on manufacturing in any developing country. Manufacturing starts off with processing of primary commodities, which the agricultural sector produces. Then there is affordable housing. Yes, a good agricultural sector also has a means of producing some inputs for affordable housing. Now the agricultural sector will also produce commodities for affordable health care. So you are indeed very relevant. I take this opportunity once again to welcome you to the rights responsibilities and privileges of the University of Nairobi. You will find very friendly staff, both teaching and non-teaching. I wish you all the best in the time you will be with us at the University of Nairobi. Now the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine is uh, as old as the University of Nairobi, having started in the 60s and then became, when it was a constituent college of the University of East Africa, and then became a faculty in the 70s. So we've been training veterinarians uh, in the faculty since the 70s, and these veterinarians are from uh, as wide as uh, East Africa, and also um, Southern and Eastern Africa. Currently, uh, we, are, uh, we have five departments, the Department of Veterinary Anatomy and Physiology, which is located in Chiromo, we also have the Department of Animal Production, which is here in Kabete, the Department of Veterinary Pathology, Microbiology and Parasitology, located here again in Kabete, Department of Public Health, Pharmacology and Toxicology, also here in Kabete, and the Department of Clinical Studies. We have five, four undergraduate programs. One is the Bachelor of Veterinary Medicine, which takes five years. We also have a Bachelor of Science in Wildlife Management and conservation, which is a four-year program, Bachelor of Science in Leather Science and Technology, a four-year program, and Bachelor 
of uh, science in fisheries and aquaculture management. And we have about uh, 900 students in total uh, who are other graduates, about 600, and also postgraduates who are in uh, 33 master's programs and 33 PhD programs. Now we at the faculty, we have about, uh, 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 lecturers who are about uh, 120, uh, all the way from professors to tutorial fellows. We also have technical and non-teaching staff constituting about 150, who are the ones who will be taking you through the, the teaching programs and also uh, the practicals that you'll be doing. So for me, as the dean, is to welcome you to the faculty and uh, assure you that we are ready to teach you, to train you, so that you can be the best. As I've said, we have been uh, the leading uh, faculty in uh, East Africa. We have been the only faculty in Kenya since the 70s. It's only recently that we have had another faculty of veterinary medicine in the country in the last three years. So we are the premier faculty of veterinary medicine in the country, and we are ready to teach you. Although you'll be starting uh, by learning online, we are ready. We have done online teaching for the uh, continuing students. We started this in April when uh, COVID was declared as a pandemic. We have uh, we completed our third, second semester, and we did our examinations. And the students are now ready to graduate in September. So we are ready. We know how to go about it. But once we've uh, the, the COVID is gone. We will be ready to have you on campus. The courses we, you have joined are at the center of addressing the issues of food security. And a number of your predecessors have gone through these programs and they are offering great service to our nation in fulfilling this particular mandate. For example, I believe some of you, you must have heard of Chen Karuku. We, who has been the CEO of Unilever. She was a food scientist in our, in our university here in the faculty. We have a number of alumni who have done great things from the education sector to industry. Obviously in the education sector, we have many who have become vice chancellors passing through this faculty. Professor Kea, Professor Micheka, Professor Simbahero, who is at uh, Masindo Muru University right now. Professor Nyariki, who is at Moranga University. You can be one of these great alumni when you come through here and you get yourself to studies. You are going to get the exposure you require to be a great scientist, to be a person who will deliver when you join the private sector. Our programs are extremely competitive, very minded. We are the best university. I look forward to seeing you join our programs, which will start prompt on 31st of August, when we will start our orientation program and thereafter our teaching. Definitely, you are going, when you come on campus at a later date after the COVID pandemic, you will see some of the state-of-the-art facilities that we have for teaching, for your teaching. Excellent labs from food science, where we have a pilot plant doing everything with food processing. You will be able to see that and you will use that facility. We have excellent labs, which are accredited labs from the GI slab in range, that's the Department of Lamat, to the soil microbiology lab, the main labs in plant sciences, and the computer labs which we have, where you will be able to do your, your many things without a lot of challenges. Then we have a well-equipped library, which I know shortly you will be doing orientation, you will be later and later on you will be taught how to assess it online so that you can be able to equip yourself better as you undertake your studies. Our staff, they are very dedicated. They will be there for you, not only to teach you, but also to mentor you to become better persons who will offer service to the nation.
I would like to welcome the 2020 first year students to the University of Nairobi and indeed to the Wangari Madai Institute. The institute is one of several uh, institutes in the University of Nairobi. The institute was established in 2009 uh, to honor and to immortalize the works of the late Professor Wangari Madai. We have postgraduate programs. We don't have undergraduate uh, programs as yet. We have a Master of Science in Environmental Governance, and we have a PhD in Environmental Governance and Management. We now have over 100 students, and uh, our students uh, come from Kenya as well as from other countries in Africa and we have one student from the USA. Our program is um, based on experiential learning. We train uh, stewards who will go to industry, to government, to NGOs, or even self-employed to um, address issues facing our environment. It is a multidisciplinary program because we admit students from all backgrounds and uh, it is also taught by a faculty from different uh, disciplines in the University of Nairobi. Our centerpiece is what we call experiential learning, which means learning by doing. We lay a very strong emphasis on field work so that we bridge the gap between classroom work and what is happening out there uh, to our communities uh, and to the environment. Uh, our pro master's program takes two years, while the PhD program takes uh, three years. Our faculty are very strong in research. They are carrying out research from a diverse uh, range of disciplines or areas. Uh, those of you who are coming for undergraduate classes, you are very welcome to Wangari Madai Institute. It's a beautiful compound, recently constructed, with uh, a lot of green features. Uh, if you walk around our compound, you see a lot of uh, landmarks, and each one of them has a meaning and a meeting which is related to the, work, to the works and the works of the late Professor Wangari Madai. We have beautiful classrooms, uh, we have laboratories, and one unique laboratory I would like to mention is a peace laboratory. Uh, peace, the peace laboratory is used for mediation purposes. If you have groups of people who are contesting their access to forest or to land or to water, we are capable of bringing the, world, uh, the disputing parties together in our peace labs. And with the help of an experienced mediator, they can discuss the contested issues.